Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up an external radio with one of your base receivers. So to do this, I'm going to be using Microsurveys Field Genius 10, our Windows 10 tablet, the Mesa 2, an S321 Plus, and finally, a Harkson external radio. So to begin here, I've already connected myself to the base receiver, and I'm going to take a position over an average point. If you want to know more details about how to do this, uh, we have a video. I'll just link to it in the top right corner. So if I start the reference here, it's going to average several points. I'll just average 10 points and then hit set position. And then I'm not going to save the point to the database in this video. I would recommend doing that if you're setting up your base. Uh, it just allows you to come back at a later date and set up over the exact same point without any issues. So once I've done that, it's going to give me an antenna height. I'm just going to leave that as is. I've measured it to one and a half meters in a previous video here. And then I'm going to get the link configure screen. So under device type, instead of something like an internal UHF or an internal GSM, I'm going to select other device from the dropdown. And then I'm going to make sure that my device port is set as serial and that my communication parameters are set to match those of the radio. So for all our Harks on radios, we have a baud rate of 38.4. If you have a different radio, like a Pacific Crest or a Satel radio, you're going to want to make sure that the baud rate matches that of the radio. Otherwise, this will not work. So once I have that set, I'm going to hit connect. I'll leave my message type as is. So while that's loading in, I'm just going to include a video here. So this is what your radio should look like. The light in the bottom right corner, the RXTX light, should be flashing about every second and should be red in color. So this indicates when you see this that the radio is actually broadcasting signal. If you do not see this, um, you either, you're either not connected properly to the radio or your baud rate is incorrect. Um, so there's no point in going ahead if you do not see this on your radio. Once I've ensured that the radio is broadcasting, I'm just gonna quickly connect to my rover here. And as you can see, I have a fix and I can start to survey. So that's all for today's video. And if you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video or any of the equipment you've heard about in today's video, please don't hesitate to give us a call at 1-888-286-3204, or you can visit us on the web at bench-mark.ca.